Alex, congratulations. It's not always easy to play someone for the first time, especially on an occasion like tonight. What kind of challenges was he presenting to you early before you were able to pull away from this one? Yeah, look, he's a, a great competitor. Um, he shows what he's been able to do this whole tournament, coming through qualifying and getting to the third round, beating seeds and great players. So uh, a lot of respect to him. It was a great match and uh, I wish him the best for the rest of the season. I, I struggled a bit to find my rhythm uh, throughout the match, but uh, I stayed in the moment, I stayed uh, composed, I tried to play some good tennis, and it worked out in the end. Sure did. You, you say you struggled to find your rhythm. You played your first two rounds in Rod Laver Arena, now you're here in the People's Court at John Kane Arena. Did that have something to do with it? Yeah, I mean... The atmosphere over here is something else. Uh, I mean, uh, I enjoyed every second of it, but it is a little bit different uh, to uh, RLA, but took a little bit to get used to, but uh, it was a pleasure to play in front of you guys. So thank you guys. I'm curious, what's different about this court to Rod Laver Arena? <laughs> um, yeah, look, uh, I think the atmosphere is one for sure. I mean, uh, yeah, you got to... <laughs> uh, I don't know. I, I, for me, it felt a little bit slower than, than RLA. Um, I don't know what exactly it was. I, I, I kind of was overheating at stages. I wasn't quite finding my timing, but, hey, we move on and, and you know, on to the next round. That's exactly right. For the third consecutive year, you've made your way into the fourth round here. And does it feel a little bit different because you're coming in one fresh, you didn't play in the week building up to this, and you beat three top 10 players in the United Cup to boost that confidence. What does it feel like this time? Yeah, look, maybe uh, it feels a little bit different. It feels like uh, we're getting to the tail end of the tournament and, uh, you know, the matches are uh, definitely going to be very, very tough. So I'm looking forward to it. I've, I'm playing some great tennis. I've started the year amazingly, and hopefully I can keep it going in front of you guys. We don't know who your opponent is going to be. They're just getting ready to go. It's going to be Andre Rublev or Sebastian Korda, both terrific players, both players that you've beaten in the past. Um, what do you think about that potential matchup? Do you, uh, do you have a preference? That's a terrible question. Let me retract that. That's the worst question ever. Um, how do you like your chances to make it to your first Australian Open quarterfinal? Uh, look, it's uh, all going to come out to the level I, I bring in the following match. I mean, I've got to back myself. I've got to believe. I've got to play positive tennis the way I've done this whole year and uh, back myself. I mean, I know the whole crowd's going to be behind me and I'm going to enjoy every second of it. We enjoyed watching it tonight, Alex. Congratulations. He's into the second week of the Australian Open. Wide World of Sports is your home of the Australian Open. With highlights of every match of the AO, the on-court interviews, and every day with the morning serve, you'll be ahead of the game. So click that subscribe button so you don't miss a thing this Australian Open.